Well, now to begin, hold the banjo somewhat as shown in the picture and tune it up. This is what we call a C tuning. That's the fourth string. That's an octave below middle C. Here's the third string. The fifth higher. Second string. Second string is B. That's one note below middle C. First string. This is a D, one note above middle C. And lastly, the fifth string is a G, one uh, fifth above middle C. Here's all strings together. Now, with your left hand, put your fingers down on the strings where the dots are on the little diagram and make a C chord. It should sound like this. Now, with the index finger of your right hand, pluck up on the first string. Then brush down across all the strings with the back of your fingernail, either of your ring finger or all of your fingers. Try that over and over again in rhythm. Now that's what you call a basic strum. Here's a song you can start right off playing. Now we're going to add the fifth string. You pluck it with your thumb. Take the uh, pattern before, that is you pluck up with your right index finger on the first string, brush down across all the strings, and then with your thumb pluck the fifth string. All together it would sound like this. Bump titty bump titty is the rhythm you're aiming at. Now take that same song which you played before and play it again using the fifth string. Now some notes can be sounded by the fingers of the left hand, fretting a string so sharply that you can hear it. I call this hammering on. For example, pluck the open third string with the index finger of your right hand. Now come down on that third string with the middle finger of your left hand so hard that you can hear it. Try it again. The first time you heard the note, it was made by your right hand. The second note was actually made by the middle finger of your left hand. Now try this. Pluck up with your index finger. Hammer down with your left hand. Brush down with your ring finger. Pluck the fifth string with your thumb. 
a little faster. And still faster. Here's a little bit of the song John Henry with uh, some of this hammering on in it. Now the left hand can also make notes by actually plucking a string. It usually works most easily on the first, or second, or third strings. I call it pulling off. Now put your fingers on the strings, uh, the fingers of the left hand as the, shown in the diagram. It should sound like this. Then with the ring finger of your left hand, actually pluck the first string. Now, the way it'll sound is like this. Pluck up on the first string with your right index finger. Pull off with your left hand. Brush down with your ring finger. Sound the thumb string. All together, it would sound like this. A little faster. Well now, if you study the notation and the tablature given, you ought to be able to play this song. I think you know it. Well, it's hard and it's hard, ain't it hard, to love one that never did love you. And it's hard and it's hard, ain't it hard, great God, to love one that never will be true.